I'm here in Morris Park in front of a Montefiore hospital. You guys are, uh, are picketing here. Can you tell, tell us about why you're out here? My name is Maria Castaldo. I work here at Wild on South Med Surge. And I'm we're here for patient safety and uh, staff enforcement. My name's Corrine Raymond. I'm a registered nurse for 29 years, even though I'm only 35. We are out here on strike today for very serious reasons. We are fed up with Monty Fury short staffing us so that we are unable to take care of our patient population. Our patient population is very near and dear to us. They are very complex in their need for care and we want to be able to deliver that care expertly, expeditiously, with love, care and tenderness. And what we find at the present time is that we have been able to do that. We have some 700 nursing vacancies and that has led to huge challenges in terms of taking care of our patients. We want safe staffing ratios in the emergency rooms because no nurse should ever have more than 20 patients. They, we want ratios in the ED so that patients can get the care that they deserve. We want staffing enforcement because many of our units have ratios, but what we find is that management typically will short staff units, they don't fill vacancies, they don't replace nurses as they leave. Nurse, young nurses aren't staying because the work environment is so poor and we want to change that through our contract negotiation. So that's why we're out here striking. We're striking for our community, so that we, um, we're striking for ourselves. And together, we hope that we can change the paradigm of 62 out of 62 of healthcare outcomes here in the Bronx. So is your union in contract negotiations right now? We are in contract negotiations. As a matter of fact, we were at the table yesterday, well, this morning until 3 a.m. And then we um, came to the, the strike line because we were unable to secure the contract that we want um, and need for our community and for ourselves. So here we are. We are hoping that this strike will encourage management to come back to the table and deliver a contract that addresses safe staffing, staffing enforcement and helps to entice nursing students to our facility to come work and stay. And as you can hear, we are on fire today. How, how long do you expect to stay on strike? Until we get a fair contract. So your top issue is the uh, staffing ratios? Staffing Safe enforcement. staffing and pay, um, staffing, staffing enforcement and end of hallway patients. We cannot abide Montefiore's practice of placing patients in the hallway. This is a developed country and we should not be using underdeveloped standards of care. What are the kinds of uh, circumstances you're seeing when, when patients are being in the, placed in the hallway? We don't think there is any circumstance that a patient should be placed in the hallway. Throat a woman in the hallway, getting a tube put into her vagina so that she can pee, unacceptable. No light, you can't turn off the light, you are at your most vulnerable. You cannot turn off the light. Everybody's walking past you as though you're in the middle of the road. We find that abhorrent and deplorable. What kinds of staffing ratios are you seeing now? So we have staffing ratios in on many of our units, but what typically happens is management does not fulfill those staffing ratios. And so that is why we're fighting for staffing enforcement with penalties to the hospital when they fail because it's not enough for them to say oh well there's a staffing shortage we are surrounded by at least seven nursing schools with graduating classes of about 20 to 25 at least twice a year there's absolutely no reason for Montefiore to have so many nursing vacancies. Why, why do you think there are so many vacancies? Why can't they fill those positions? Well, they have a very convoluted hiring mechanism 
There are 54 steps to being hired at Montefiore and it takes about six months. Whereas you can go down to Mount Sinai or Presbyterian and they'll hire you more or less on the spot. So we are, we are hoping to change that paradigm through our strike action here. We're hoping to change Monty's work ethic. We're hoping to change their model uh, um, and create a scenario where nurses can come, be hired, get trained, retained and are happy here. Any other uh, message you'd like to give to people about this? I hope that the community is on our side. We've had a lot of love poured out to us from the community. They see how hard we work. They see the conditions that they find themselves in and they see the conditions that we work in. And we hope that the community stays strong with us so that we can get the contract that we want for them. Okay, thank you very much thank for talking you. with me.